What are you up to today, Jordy, you ask? Well, not much, you know. Just carving an owl on a nuke and whatever I want. Ha! <laughs> All right, so the silly little owl is done. I don't know why I carved it really quick just for the grad. I carved it really quick just for the grad thing, so that's done. And I was thinking about, I got to finish. Uh, I got to finish this big wood spirit for commission, but I just don't know if I'm uh, in the zone for it. To carve butterflies and I got to carve rocks at the bottom rocks at the bar bottom finish those butterflies and finish that wood spirit I got another uh, fairly sized chunk of cedar like this one outside I might bring it in I kind of feel like I want to carve a a wood spirit with a roof on it make it like a fake kind of birdhouse thing I don't know I just kind of want to have fun I want to I want to burn through lots of the wood I got because, well, I want to get some better wood. Anyways, carry on. Okay. So, it's only 7.30 in the morning here. So, that owl took me about... That was the worst cedar I've ever carved. Even though it was old growth, I just didn't like it. It was, um, it was the same cedar that I carved out of Walter's chair. And I'm making a, for that owl, I'm making a memorial piece for um, family, friends. So this piece, this, there's my tape measure. Some people say, oh, you should measure, tell us how high it is. This is... Second or third growth western red cedar. It's like uh, 19 inches wide. By three feet tall. I think I want to. There's a big crack here. I'm going to show you guys. Like, um, how do I want to? I'm going to do a big roof. I might even just carve a house. A, like a fairy house or like a fantasy house thing that you see the big crack there so and like lots of this sapwood is rotten so all that white wood all the way around basically needs to come off so if I do a long sloped roof I can ah come on come on if I do a long sloped roof I can get rid most of that water wood, that sap wood. So, do I want to have the roof peak right here so when it cracks more, it just splits the roof? Or do I want to have the roof peak here and then it will crack down the roof? I think I'm going to, because that's an, that's an obvious crack, it's going to probably run all the way through. For those beginner carvers, when you get a stick from the forest or whatever, you should always check the center of the wood because that's where it's going to start cracking. So, I think I'm going to do the roof and I'll make it so the crack will be, when this thing does crack like wider, it will be in the middle of the roof. So, I'm going to do a long, I'm going to do one log slope down roof and kind of give it an angle. Like, uh, kind of like, like this, big long one, and I can do a shorter one too. You don't have to do your roofs the same, same angles, right? Like the same height. This one can be long, go down, way down there. This one can just go right here. So I guess, you know, I'm pretty tired. Maybe some of you can tell, but, um. I'm going to put my chops on because 
I think this log, I think I need to flip it around the other way too. Yeah, I'm going to do that too. Stand by. But anyways, I was saying you shouldn't carve with chainsaws when you're tired like I am. Friggin' hypocrite. And uh, f please wear your chaps. Ear protection. I, I'm kind of pissed off. I forgot my uh, earbuds. Like to play music. So I got earplugs in anyways. <laughs> Look at all the cottonwood everywhere. It's just the flying. See all the white stuff? It's like it's snowing. I like the birds chirping in that tree. Okay, so I got my chops on and um, stand by. Um, what I'll be running is my uh, the older steel 034. I think that's a 24 inch cannon bar on there. Probably like a toonie tip or something. I don't even know if it's sharp or not. Maybe I should sharpen it. Okay, so I'm going to fuel up the saw and then we'll get going on this sucker here. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting it this way, and I'll speed it up so you guys can see. Um, whatever. Okay. It feels kind of sharp. Kind of sharp. Kind of sharp enough for me not want. Kind of sharp enough for me not want to sharpen it. Okay, so I got most uh, skinning of that water wood yet. I always find it's better to do it before you start carving because then you don't have to deal with it later. This is a... Uh, 
don't want to get it up on the jack stand but uh anyways oh, that's a good 150 pounds so what I'm gonna do now is get my other smaller saw and finish cleaning up all the crappy water wood around it and then I'll be back um, I don't even know what saw I'm gonna use but uh, yeah I'll be back well then we'll start carving okay so all the uh, basically all the sap woods off I'm think really thinking about you know I I don't take care of my gas saws good enough like I don't maintain them good enough to I just have nothing but problems with bars and oil the least problems I have with any chainsaws with the carving bars is the steel 170 with the steel carving bar that's the least problem I have with any saws that I've had for chainsaw carving because I'm just not that guy that has that spends time cleaning them properly and maintaining them and all that stuff I got like 12 chainsaws maybe not that but at one point I had 12 I think I got 10 now I'm seriously thinking about just like uh, just using the the battery saws where's my air blower I'm thinking about just using the battery saws because well yeah sure they run slower than gas saws but you don't have to smell the gas the exhaust you don't have to buy gas they're just batteries in here maybe once or maybe every few years you gotta replace the batteries that just seems so much more uh, sensible to me for me to just start using nothing but battery saws I don't know gas saws just give me nothing but problems like when you got when you got a gas saw that comes it comes with the bar yeah sure run it and but when you put carving bars on them I don't know I have problems with I'm just not the, I just don't take enough care of them I'm not gonna keep going on about it so but I'm thinking about maybe if I buy more saws they're gonna be battery saws um so you can see here now I'll bring the camera over here we got the roof slope on it would have been nice if it was sloped a bit more like more whoosh, that way that's okay so here's my chainsaw cut marks and this is just how I do things because I've cut the roof in before but then you got the shingles and then you got these marks on the shingles so I just take the extra five minutes and I'm gonna clean all this up first I'm not even gonna cut the shingle this is pretty wet cedar see and then you got here too and I can shape it more too you know I can give it more of a whoosh with um, this this is the cut saw shaping disc now I do not have a guard on here I, I suggest you everybody keep your guards on yours when, when you're using these because if these things kick back they're dangerous and it will remove skin fast and a lot of it I don't even have a freaking handle on this thing I'm gonna look to see if there's a handle in my toolbox but so what I'm gonna do is just clean this up I'll film a bit you guys can see how much dust it creates even these even these um, cut saw shaping discs you guys if you want to get them just go down below to the description we'll take you to the cut saw site and save you five percent just carve Rob loves it when I say that because we all know it's my the used car salesman I have inside of me so 
I'm going to see if I got a handle for this. I don't know. This is just a cheap grinder from Walmart. That's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to clean that up a bit. I'll put my dust mask on. And uh, for all you that don't know, here I got my Trend Air Pro dust mask here. This is in my Amazon store too. It's uh, It's got batteries. It pushes air in. So you can have a big beard or whatever. And uh, it pushes air in and this thing will never fog up. I haven't been wearing it that much because I do need to change my filters. Because it's push, push, it seems like it's pushing wood inside here now. The dust, but it's still better than my other dust mask. Okay, let me see if I got a handle for that grinder. And I couldn't find the handle. Got to plug it in. Make sure it's turned off. You see, it's kind of plugging up because it's, because it's wet wood. Let me see if I can uh, show you guys me doing this. Is it filming? Yep. Okay, so if this was dry wood, if this wood was dry, I'd just use my flap sander. It's a lot uh, safer than this, that's for sure. I don't care what anybody says, especially maybe Cutsall might not like me, not like me saying that, but um, it's the truth. Try and use your flap sander. This one's plugged up from wet wood too, but try and use this instead of this unless you got the guard and the handle and stuff and safety precaution you can you know if this runs too fast for you and you can't control it you can always buy like speed controls that you can plug this into too i got one somewhere i'm just going to do this other side and i'll be back still very much snowing cottonwood Yep. Okay, so, you know, you can also make your roof, like, not just so. You can make it so, like, some parts go, like, make it, like, an old wrecked kind of thing. But I think what we're going to do now, there's different things you can do, too. You can do, like, uh, fascia boards, then your sh sh wooden shakes. You know, you can also you can also do this with your roof, like a china cap. Can you do this? I think that might kind of look different. There's so much stuff you could do. So, but for, let me get my chair and then we'll draw the fascia boards and stuff on okay so you got the wider view here so you know I'm, all, I'm thinking about making this a planter planters sell you know like you, you carve an old house and you put a planter in there you know ladies love plants and flowers and stuff like that so who knows so I'm just trying to think do I want to make it do I want to spend the time 
Oh, this cedar is soaking wet. See the colors in there? Color difference? Sopwood's gone too. Because I think I am going to do that. And this one can really hang down here. So that means I got to cut on here, right? The way it is, not too much. You know, like you don't want to give it too much overhang because, like I mean, this fascia board, you don't want to give it too much overhang because even, no, I'm just going to do shingles and I'll round these edges and then the shingles will roll over the roof kind of like an old um, thing thing. And I'll just round it with a chainsaw with my 2511. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'll just kind of slope it down and, and round this off so they're all different kind of roundnesses. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know? Who knows? I knew George knew, but he's not here anymore, so who knows? I don't know. So I think I remember what I was saying now, because I know you don't really want to give this too much of an overhang because it's an outdoor piece and you just want to leave it as sold. This is just my opinion. Leave it as sold as you can. So, yeah, like, um, that's why. Anyways, I know, I know, I know.
I don't know if I said it, but uh, I didn't sleep last night. I think I did, but I don't know if I did or didn't, but maybe I did. But uh, it's kind of those things. Did I just sleep there or was I awake? But anyways. Uh, this owl bothers me. This is a perfect example if you don't sleep and you get to your chainsaw carving tent and think that you're a pro and you can carve an awesome owl in an hour and a half. If you're not a pro, that's what you'll get. <laughs> Uh, but just because I don't like it doesn't mean somebody else won't like it. <laughs> oh, silly little thing. But I like this roof. I like the way the roof turned out. Just slowly doing my thing with the chainsaw. Then I brought my sounder out. You can see the these spots in the wood here. That's where it's wet. So I use the thing thing too. You can almost see where it wants to crack here too, these lines. I use the cut saw disc and then I use my little sander. You can see the wet spots. Look for the wet anyways, just let, let's leave that uh, alone. These marks here, I kept on uh, grinding deeper here because I thought they were chainsaw marks, but they're just uh, marks in the wood. You know, I was like, am I tripping out because I didn't sleep? Or, oh, there's the crack. There is the crack. So it's going to go like this. Who cares? So what do I want to do next? I think like this is, um, I don't know, there's a style for it, whimsical. This house. I think I need to whoo, take a big cut out here. Not that big, but like uh right like that make it a bit more whimsical what do you guys think well I can't ask you you're not here anyways Look at that old whimsical gnome home planter box. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, if you look at this, I think it would be good to carve a, a little door right there so that, you know, they can go in the door and then they can go upstairs and have their parties and whatever carve a little window up here and uh, window a door uh, I don't want to get too carried away it's not the best cedar so you know this owl maybe I could uh, fix up the face a bit maybe these eyes are I was just talking to Larry Dibbs and Larry said He's tweaking. He just did a big fat, uh, we'll just say rippy. Um, maybe his eyes are too big. I can always, I always can carve deeper. Like, look how much room I got to carve, right? So you can always carve deeper and try and make it better. It just, you know, it, it comes off as an owl, but it kind of just bothers me. And I'm sure you guys kind of agree. Maybe, sort of. I didn't spend much time on this at all, and that's my own fault. But I'm spending a lot of, a lot of time on this. I think it's like 10.30 in the morning now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these uh, shingles in, these courses. And then I'll cut the little, separate the shingles. I don't even really need to, you know. I could just sand this really nice once it's dry. And then give it a nice, uh, a nice wood dye. And um, that doesn't um, burn away from the UVs. I think I should cut the shingles in, though.
yeah so i think like a nice little door down there window here i'm not going to finish this piece today everybody and the rocks so these are going to be rocks down here and then i got them so they're carrying up here i thought about making the rocks let's see here the rocks ending here and then the house kind of coming down looping over the rocks but i said no nah, i'll just carry on the rocks i'm having fun with this that's why i'm just taking my time I don't think I made my coffee strong enough, and I'm not staying much longer because this is my last cup of coffee, and as soon as I run out of coffee at the carving station, it's, it's quit time. that sticker upside down Larry so when the cup sits down here it's upside down I have to put it on the other way when I put well this is the end of the show everybody Jordy's out of coffee so but when I put the thing on here like that it's fine but when I put it on there like that it's upside down so it's a no win situation I wish I would have made my coffee stronger this morning. But it's good coffee, homemade coffee. Oh yeah, I grind the coffee beans myself. So, one tip I can give the, the new carvers out there. Let your wood dry before you bother sanding it. It will be so much faster sanding it when the wood's dry. You know, give it a few days. Let it let it dry out. Like it will dry like maybe a few that much. That's good. You'll be able to sand it a lot easier. <sighs> oh yeah, now look, I'm seeing all these marks here that I did with the grinder too. I didn't see these when I had my mask on. I was starting to hallucinate again. I was thinking like, um, let's see, where's those marks again? I don't know where they are, but I was thinking that stuff was stuff, and it's just because I, I need to sleep. That's the bottom line. So, um, oh, yeah, hey. 
not so tweaky anymore, is it, Dibs? Huh? Huh? You want to see something really wild about this? So I might paint this whole thing white. I don't know. I don't care. I might even paint it just for fun. But look at those eyes. That's that's natural. Uh, I was tweaking when I was doing that too. I was like, man, is that a cut? Is that a cut from my chainsaw in there? And same with this one. But no, they're just natural. That's like a root thing, a, a knot. And that's a natural one too. So I'll paint this once it's dry. I, this, like I said, this is the worst cedar. That uh, I don't know. I can't stand it. Soft and wet, and it's like mushy. So let me get uh, the camera and the tripod, give you guys a full 360 of this, and we'll talk about some plans. Okay, so like I said, you best off to let your wood dry for a few days before you sand it, but I sanded it. I, don't, I forget what was the front and which was the back. Yeah, that, that was the front. This is the back. Yeah, so the rocks will come down here. And then the, we'll have this. I got to, if anybody knows a really good wood dye that does not fade from UV, please let me know. Because I want to put wood dye on this. And I want, like I'm going to burn it and I'm going to show Sugi that. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I, wanna, I, want, I want this to be a nice piece. I, like I got to stop this carving bullshit, right? Like I got to start taking my time and. Like this, I don't know, I, I'm filming, I got to hurry up because my battery's about to die. But this is dry, I, I carved this. This is a commission piece I got to do with the butterflies. And there's going to be rocks down there. But this was pretty wet cedar, but I've, I've let it dry for like two weeks. I got. I hit it with the sander just quickly to see it. It was just like, boom, boom, done, sanded. This thing, I had to go over it and over it. So it's just best to let it dry, so... I'd love to hear you guys' opinions about colors and stuff I can do with this. I'll, I'll put, I'm not going to take the cam camera off the tripod, but like I got a, it's a succulent plant holder in here where you can put little plants. There's not that much room, but I, it's good enough. You got like, I don't know, four inches in there, five inches. This is going to be rocks. I don't know. I'm, I'm up for suggestions from you, from everybody. Like, what can I carve here? I think a door is good. Offset it a bit. Then a window here. And just, I want to take advantage of this wide grain. We'll see. We'll see what how. Oh, it's like a nice, anyways. I was going to, I was going to say it starts with who. Uh, it rhymes with Bobby, but I won't say what, um, anyways, so, sorry, ladies, that offended you, sorry, sorry, not sorry, but I'm sorry, but then again, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know, take your time, have fun, let the wood dry. I got to go to a service tomorrow for a close family friend that passed away. So this will be drying for, you can see here, it's soaking wet. But, but a couple days in this tent, we we'll, might even, when I come back, we might even see the crack. Yeah, there it's cracking right there. I'm not going to pull it. Yeah, look there. Boom. So the crack's going to be like, it's going to crack here, which is good. I'm happy with it so far. I just got my chainsaw, you guys saw, and I was just shaping it and just doing my thing. The, the 2511 is running pretty wicked right now. Um, it doesn't it doesn't run so fast. But anyways, this is the Echo 2511. The only, the only gas chainsaws I'm buying now, for now on, is the Still MS-170. If I buy any new chainsaws, they're all going to be battery saws. I'm, th I'm done with it. Unless I needed a bigger saw for like, I don't want to get into too big a carving. I'm going to be 50 in August. I'm going to be 50. My life, I roofed my whole life. I, I worked in a bridge shop. I worked down at that, that place I showed you guys on the river. I was doing welding and stuff down there. I've 
put my body through health through my life. So, you know, every when I go home now, I'm going to be aching and pain, uh, in pain. But you got you just got to deal with it. Who wants to get old? Nobody wants to get old. But it's just life. You just gotta you gotta take the punches and you gotta get back up and keep on taking punches and keep getting back up and then finally punch back. Anyways, I'm babbling, talking about absolutely nothing. Thanks everybody. And uh just carve rub. You uh, you gotta make a video and you gotta ask Ben Studio on the Lake when the hell is he gonna make his friggin' thing thing for the thing thing that thing. His whale challenge, spirit whale challenge video. I'm coming for you, Just Carve Rub, with that challenge. There's no way you can beat me. Because the plan that I got for that Spirit Wheel challenge, buddy, anything you do, anything you do, you're going to shit the bed. So you might as well not even do it. Because I'm coming for you. Don't shit the bed.